from LA, Andrea. Hi, Andrea. <laughs> oh, that's my Let's cousin Claudia. Night. Andrea, Hello. that's my cousin Claudia. Oh, hi, Claudia. And that's Andrea. I'm gonna go get my phone. <laughs> Amber, Amber, Amber. Yes. My cousin Claudia, she she's nervous about <laughs> cooking. I'm like, don't be nervous. It's fine. She's a little bit messed up. I'm like, oh girl, okay. no. It's okay. You know, we can correct a lot of things. I've definitely made mistakes. Many, many, many. And I'm now Master Chef. I'll just put it out there. Um, so <clears throat> all right, can you guys see my works, my crescent rolls here? Can you see that? Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. So, so just, we... mm -hmm. so ju just FYI, girls, if you want to see Amber bigger, you know, you can click on her so you can see her. Yeah. Better. You know, I think I can actually pin myself. Pin. There we go. How's that? Better? Let's see here. Claudia, I can't hear you. You have to unmute. Un unmute. Unmute. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. We can all hear you. Okay. okay. Oh, Claudia, you have an echo, girl. You have an echo. I know. I know. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying I'm to sure. Okay, I got so I muted her just until we fix that. Okay, so. okay, okay. All right. So should we get started, Patty? Are you waiting for anyone else to join? Uh, us? I mean, yes, we're waiting, but I mean if we want to start on time, I I'd say let's wait like maybe a couple more minutes. Okay, yeah, I'll just introduce myself and then okay. I want to hear from all of you. So, um, my name is Amber Gonzalez Grant, and I joined Pampered Chip about a year ago, right, like when COVID hit. And I just, honestly, ladies, I just wanted a discount. I'm all about saving money. And the director was like, just try it, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, sure. Well, now uh, it's been so awesome. I promoted to director, and I get spoiled with lots of free stuff, and I learned how to cook because... I really wasn't a great cook. I had like five meals that I knew how to do really well, and that was it. Um, so I, I love what I do. I've been doing it, like I said, almost about a year. And um, in my full-time job, I'm a teacher. I teach in the college-level uh, nursing program. And I have two little boys, and I have dogs. So hopefully they will not interrupt us. But, you know, hashtag mom life, that's how it goes. So um, I know Patty through the, uh, what is it called? The bo Boss Mom? Let, what is it called? No, Latinas Connect Milwaukee. Yes, yes. So she's always on there just promoting positivity and supporting other small business. So I really appreciate um, being able to connect with her and throw her an awesome party. So really, we're going to go through the recipe. You guys can stop me if you have any questions. If you have a question, we play a little game. If you have a question, I have to take a drink. And so, oh, it looks like Monica just joined. Okay. I'll admit her. If you want to type it instead of saying it out loud, Patty's going to just keep an eye on the chat. So, yeah. Uh, if, okay. So that's my cousin, Monica. Hi, Monica. Monica, so, can you hear us? <laughs> cousin, can you hear us? Cousin, can you hear us? I can't hear you. Yeah, unmute, Monica. Unmute. There we go. Okay, okay now. That, that's my cousin, Monica, which is Claudia's sister. Oh, okay. Nice okay. to meet you. <laughs> All right, so you... So I can't see anybody. I can only see Patty. No, you. if you're on your phone, is it on your phone or your computer, cousin? My phone. That's why you have to move it around. You can't, it's not going to be all on one screen. You're going to have to like... You slide. You gotta find Amber because she's the one that's talking. Okay, I see Amber now. Okay. okay. Yeah. 
Amber, if people come in, are you going to see that or am I going to yeah, see that? Yeah, I'll keep an eye on that. So. Okay, because I am expecting a few, a couple more people, so. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I've been, um, you know, when COVID hit, we had to really pivot and everything went to Zoom. So I'm not a 100% expert, but I definitely uh, have a lot of experience with it now. So. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right, so um, I have a question for you guys when we get started. You can type it in the chat. How many of you have heard of Pampered Chef? Yes, no, you love yes. it. You never, you kind of know it. Yeah. Yes, I have. I have. Yeah. Okay. Anybody have a favorite tool so far that they love from Pampered Chef? That chopper thing. <laughs> oh wait, I got to hold up. I like that thing. This yeah, that, is, that. I use that. Yes, I'll be especially for that. onions. <laughs> yes. yes. I want one of those. That's Anna. Anna. Yes. All right. And I still, else I, still, I still have this, and this is from a long time ago. <laughs> Get away. What is that? A cheese grater? That one's yes. good. Yeah, cheese grater. Oh, like an Olive Garden, right? <laughs> yes. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Anybody else? No, I don't have anything. No. <laughs> So, I do yeah. like I do like the stones. Those baking yeah. stones are nice too. Yeah, yeah the yeah. Yeah. stones. Yeah, we have stoneware. Yes, great. So one of the things about Pampered Chef, um, if you're not familiar with it, is we stand behind our product. A lot of our stuff has either a lifetime guarantee, uh, five year or three years. So most of our products are extended warranty. We have excellent customer service, and if you own any of the Pampered Chef products you will know that it lasts forever. I've had these measuring cups for 15 years. 15. Wow. So they last a really long time. All right. So, is it, um, Patty, did you want to say anything before we like officially start the party or? Uh, just thank you. Thank you girls for coming. Yes, thank you so much. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> All right, so um, just a little bit, I uh, can email you guys the catalog, the digital catalog, and you can see all the products there. There's a shopping link, and we'll get to more details after we wrap up. But again, I appreciate you joining, and let's go ahead and jump into the recipe. Let's do it. Okay, so you preheated your oven to 375. If not, go ahead and do that. So the recipe calls for two cans of crescent rolls. Now they have what's really nice, the pastry sheet um, that's available. And obviously um, that would be super easy, but then they have the ones that just are the crescents you guys can see. And when I just have the crescents, I can either just use my hands, you know, and you just kind of mush the seams together. Okay. Or this is a pastry roller. And since I have it, I'm gonna use it. And it's so nice. I use it for cookies. I use it for so many things I wouldn't even think of when we make pizzas at home. And my boys love it too because rolling pins are super big and heavy and we actually have a really nice marble one. But this is nice for their little hands, so. So just go ahead and get a nice, if you have the crescent rolls that need to be kind of smushed together. So you're saying like the edges, like kind of the edges put them together, right? Like yeah, just so make sure they're connected. Like one big piece, see? Okay. Okay. So I put the roll them out the long way. Okay. And this is my stone. This is a rectangular baker. Our stoneware, if you had our stone before, has been completely revamped in September. They are more durable. They upgraded them like never before. So right now this stoneware is oven safe up to 500 degrees. Previously, I think it was like 400 or 425. They're dishwasher safe, dishwasher safe, which is awesome, which is a huge improvement. You can preheat the stones up to 30 minutes and they're made from 100% natural materials, which is one thing that was important to me as a healthcare worker. I'm kind of, I try to be conscious about like, the stuff that I use in my kitchen and Pampered Chef definitely is one of the one of the companies that really focuses on like safe, you know, materials to use. So it won't retain flavors. It has a natural nonstick finish. And 
So this is the older stone, but the new ones that are dishwasher safe will have a ribbon pattern. And so that's how you'll know the difference. So um, I love my stones. Yes. This is Claudia. Hi. So are we flattening this? You just kind of get the seams together. You don't want to flatten it. Okay. Just okay. get the seams together. Oh, and actually you ask a question, girl. I need to catch up. You need to call me on it if I don't. <laughs> Claudia, yeah, because you have to lay it like this, because you see it? Oh, on a baking sheet? Yeah. All okay. right, so now that I have that set, and I kind of do, I know I'm doing this a little bit out of order, but I know this is something that could be a little tricky, and I might start moving fast, so I just want to make sure everybody knew how to do that. So wait, so do we have to spray the baking sheet? Um, so it depends what you're using. My stone does not need to be sprayed. Um, if it's nonstick, I don't think it would. You know, parchment paper is another thing. If you don't use parchment paper, I highly recommend it in your kitchen. And we also have silicone baking mats, which are nice, um, that can help prevent some of that sticking. But for the stones, I don't. I don't know if I can see what kind of pan you have. This one. <laughs> Let me see. So I just sprayed it. Okay, I think it hurt nothing. I don't. It's gonna be fine. All right. Okay. Wait, what are you supposed to spray? Can you tell me that again? You got this so much. Can you hear? I don't. Oh, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. No. I was asking, what do we need to spray? So it depends. If you have a nonstick one, it doesn't indicate that you need to use any spray. I'm using a stone, so I don't need okay. any spray. So if you have a different, like if you don't have a nonstick one or if you know it, it usually sticks, you could use parchment paper if you wanted, Yeah. which would probably be the best option. Because it's like a bread, you know? Oh. Okay, um, Amber, can I see your, can I see your layout again? Sorry. No problem. You take a drink. Okay. okay. Oh yeah, girl, remind me now. And this is some good stuff. My mom gave it to me, and I was like, "Mom, well, then don't go." <laughs> okay. All right. So we're gonna set this to the side, and we're gonna work on our chicken. Okay. So we can just set okay. this to the side. All right. So this is our large batter bowl, which I love. You can make so many things into it. Um, it comes with a cover, which is super nice, and it's not flimsy. It has not broken. I love it. Girl, this. I have it. Look it. I have it. I've had this for like 15 years. Oh, see, girl? Yes. Gotta love it. I love it. And it's my favorite. It's, it's a That's nice, a you know, yeah, it's a nice seal. It has measurements on the side. It has milliliters, which is nice, and liters. And then on the other side, you use cups and ounces. So for whatever your measurement needs, it's all on there. So last I night when I was cooking dinner, that huh? you have those, I just remember that I do have one of your stones from Pamper Chef, the round stones. Mm -hmm. And it's so amazing, especially to like for your pizza. Yes, yes. I will it's never like, go back. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Like I would never it has, put it away again. Like I preheat it first and then I put the pizza so that the bottom of the pizza gets cooked too. And it yeah. works. Yeah, yeah it, has, it, it has. You don't nice have even. stone. Stone. Yeah. I didn't hear the last part. Where's Leanne? Oh, we don't know. She's late. She's late. <laughs> well, I'm glad okay. you're loving your stones. Most people who have them do love them. It can be intimidating, and I'll be the first to admit, when I bought these 15 years ago, I also bought a stone, which I actually gave away because I didn't know how to use it. Um, so if you don't know Amber, how to use it. <laughs> yes. oh, Amber, can you let me in? Yep, hold on. I have Giovanni. Yeah. <laughs> what do I say here? Call using internet audio or dial in or cancel? Let's see. Sorry, guys. My husband just got here, so. No worries. It's internet audio. Okay, so do I close it? How, how do I turn it off? Wow. <laughs> Okay, Patty, we got you, girl. 
Okay. All right. It also has a really nice handle, so I like that about it. Who knows what these are? Uh, can't really see it. It looks like scissors. They look like they paper. do look like scissors, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So these are these are salad choppers. They're a dual scissor, but they also have a scoop, and they have a really nice handle with the. It just pops right back up. Now, don't be fooled by the name salad chopper because you will literally use this for so many things in your kitchen. Okay. So what I'm going to use mine for is the chicken. Okay. So I have my two, I boiled these, oops, yesterday when I was, um, I just had some extra chicken breast. I'm like, let me just get it done. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut these up. And it's so nice because I don't have to touch them if I don't want to. It's all in the same bowl. And I can use this chopper for... Do you think that's easier than using scissors? Like, what's the difference between those and some kitchen? Um, so these have a scoop on them. And they also have two blades. And the blades are quite large. So it still has, like, I thought one side had blade and one side had scoop. It still has the blade on both sides. So it has <clears throat> two blades, see? Oh, OK. Ah. Yeah. Oh, and two blades on one side. Yes, and then a scoop. So look how where I am already. Oh, wow. And for this one, you can just, you know, this one I like to use a little bit of a finer um, chop just because then it just makes it easier to blend all the ingredients. So, so other things I've used this for, obviously it's salad. You could use it for salad. Guacamole is actually good with this. I like my guacamole a little more chunky. Um, pico, I mean, so many different things. And I'll show you how I do the salad later with this. So here's my chicken. I'm done chopping that. Okay. <sighs> All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to add in the cheese. Okay, oh, Amber, girls. Mm -hmm. Amber, was that two cups of chicken? Two cups of chicken. Okay. Honestly, ladies, I just had two chicken breasts. I'm like, it'll work. You know, okay. that's where I feel like it can take some liberties. So just say two cups. Some people, um, and I'm not a fan of canned chicken, um, but if you are, some people said they like to use that in the recipe. If you're in a pinch or you have it available. Um, but I just had two chicken breasts, so that's what I did. All right. So my family does not like pepper. So I'm not going to put pepper in mine, but you could go ahead and chop up your pepper if you wanted to do that. And then... How much pepper? You are going to have one half cup of diced red bell pepper. Oh, one half. So one we'll dice it. And I'll show you how to how I do my veggies later, just I'm not using it in this recipe. So did you say half a cup or one and a half cups of bell peppers? One half cup, so 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Now, if you had the chopper, this would be perfect for that. And um, actually, you know what? Since while you guys are doing that, anyways, I'll just show you how it chops up a carrot. I used to have that, and I think I might have. I think what happens to the blades once they wear out? Are they? Is it like? Can you get a new one for free or no? Like once the blades are done, they're done. Patty, you trying to get me faded over here? Let me. <laughs> I have to look and see if the blade is replacement. <laughs> it's good wine, though. I'm not going to complain. Um, I can check. There are a lot of replacement parts with Pampered Chef, which is another okay. great thing. Because if part of your tool for some reason, um, whatever stops working, then they do offer replacements. But this is my chopper. I'll just do a few carrots here. Okay. I mean, I'm not sure everybody's seen these, but they're done. You know? chopper. So. Okay. And they last forever. It's probably one of the most popular products that I have people asking me for. It's quite sturdy. Um, I think this one is dishwasher safe as well. I have a question, Amber. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Go ahead. What's your favorite product out of all the things that they sell? I get that question, and I just struggle to answer it because you like them all. I like so many things. One of the things. Cousin, you're drinking. 
Oh yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Salud. Monica, where's your wine, Monica? <laughs> Hi, Where's your wine at? I don't drink wine. Oh Cheers, Sandy. Cheers. Oh, look, Cheers. Anna, all right, Ada is Andrea. Here. Cheers, Andrea. Cheers. <laughs> so I'm just looking up. I have a nice little app that I use for this. So there's a five-year warranty on this. It's one of the most popular tools that we have. You can cook or chop veggies, cook meat, nuts in seconds. Onions, obviously. It has a stainless steel blade that rotates. Um, dishwasher, say, five-year guarantee. Replacement parts. My cousin. <laughs> there are some, but not the blade. <laughs> okay, my cousin Aida just joined. Hi, Aida. <laughs> She's on Hi, hey, cousin. Hi, cousin. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Hey, Monica. Hi, Aida. You see me, but I can't hear you. <laughs> I just got off work, so I'm trying to decompress. Yeah, okay, so in. In. It's Friday, Friday night. <laughs> my daughter wants to say hi real quick. She's not going to stay long. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> she always has to say hi. Okay, so we've got the bell peppers. Yep. Now, you were asking my favorite product. Gosh, if I had to pick one. I, I mean, I feel like actually the garlic press is one of my favorites. I never use so much garlic in my life, and I actually feel like I need to start growing my own. <laughs> garlic is so healthy for you, but I hated working with it before. And how many of you have ever seen this garlic press? Let me know in the chat. No. Can you get closer, one. Amber? Let me see. I one. Okay. I have one, guys. It's good. Who has one? Claudia. Me. Okay. From Pepper Chef? No, just I just bought one. Oh, oh, oh. you're saying by Pepper Chef. I know, <laughs> but they're good. Chef. No. <laughs> you know what? Um, Wait, listen, I have to say something, you guys. I've literally purchased three fucking garlic, whatever, like, and I've thrown them away because they're no good. They're no good. So let's see how good this one is. Yeah, let's see. So, okay. okay. And, you know, let me see the warranty on this one. I'll let you know a little bit more about that, too, because that's true. I hate when I buy a product and it just, doesn't work and it's a waste of money and you're not going to call anybody but I'll tell you this I've had clients that um tell me that they you know they had an issue with the product and I have not once had them say we're not going to take care of that customer you know so yeah <clears throat> it has a three-year guarantee for non-commercial use dishwasher safe um so anyways so you take a gar garlic clove here you don't have to peel it which is nice um, and you just put it into this little well here. I'll bring this closer. Yeah. Ah, so, okay. And then when I go inside, I just take out the wrapper. So the little paper. So I love garlic. It says one clove, but I'm going to use two. Because you put it in with the wrapper? You put it in the well with the wrapper, yep. And then the wrapper just comes out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think everybody hates working with garlic for that reason. Yeah. yeah. So, oh wait, put it with the wrapper. Hold on. I'm gonna need another clip. <laughs> All right. So, um, that's the garlic. Another tip that I learned was if you wash your hands under just water and rub this um, garlic press, it'll take the garlic scent off of your hands if you have any. So, and it does work. Um, so, all right, so I have my garlic in there. Raise your hand if you have one of these from Pampered Chef. Whoops. These spatula scrapers. No. No. Oh, they last forever. Forever. And they don't stain literally the first night that I used one of mine. And uh, we left it in some spaghetti sauce. And I thought it was a little. That's the question. Ew, mom. Oh, wait, what? I said, were we all supposed to take a drink from so you just asked the question? Well, you all can. I, I'm the main one. But if you want to join in, why not? <laughs> why not, right? Cheers. It'll, it'll get interesting. It'll get interesting, right? <laughs> so I put my garlic in there. Another garlic tool that I love, and I'm just going to show you since I have the garlic out, is this little, it's like a little silicone sleeve. 
and I put my garlic in there and I just roll it and then the garlic comes out with the paper off so I like that little tool oh. it comes with a slicer how many of you guys have ever had um pizza with garlic on it with the sliced garlic Nobody? Oh my gosh, it's so yes. good. We sell, we sell a slicer. With fresh garlic is really good. So, okay. So we have our chicken, we have our garlic. Let's see what's next on the ingredients. So you're putting it all together? Yes. Okay. Hi, Louise. <laughs> Look, we have a man joining us. Woo! Hey now, you know, men cook too, you know, don't leave them out. They eat Claudia. Bring a gop if you want, girl, so you can buy all the stuff. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing okay. stuff down. Okay. So, all right. Okay. So next we have the broccoli. Now I cheated and I just used frozen broccoli bag and I threw it in the microwave and that's what I did because ain't nobody got time for that on some days. And so I'm, I have my broccoli in my bowl. Again, I'm going to use my salad chopper and it's so handy because I can just chop everything up in the same bowl and not dirty so many dishes. How much broccoli, um, Amber? So the recipe calls for one cup, but I use two just because I feel like it's healthy. And why not? Okay. And my family, I'll tell you, they love this. So I always know to make more than the recipe calls because they're going to tear it up. Wait, um, question. So we were supposed to steep the broccoli? You don't have to. That's just what I did. Okay. Let me... um. So it says for the broccoli, it just says chop broccoli florets. The other thing is my uh, my husband cannot eat like solid broccoli because he has a um, Crohn's disease. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. So I always need to make sure my veggies are super cooked. And so that's another reason why I don't typically do the whole steaming situation because I want to make sure that it's nice and um, fully cooked for him. Okay. So, and on that note, with GI issues and people who are sensitive to that, all of our spices are gluten-free, GMO-free, and they're actually made in Wisconsin, so. Are you serious? The spices are all made in Wisconsin? Yes! <laughs> Wisconsin's <right>, so. awesome. <laughs> Except for today in this cold, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what? Um, Amber, I think that's very important to share because a lot of people want to go gluten-free. Yeah. And I keep saying to myself that I'm going to go gluten-free so I lose weight and it hasn't happened, but I try to buy <laughs> certain things gluten-free. So your spices are gluten-free. That's good to know. Yeah. And you know, that was the, um, and we all try to be healthy, right? And I think part of the thing that I've enjoyed most about cooking in my kitchen is I know what ingredients I'm putting into my family's food because you buy processed food, you don't know what's in it. You can't pronounce the ingredients. And so I really enjoyed cooking things. Now granted the croissants, I did not make from scratch. Should I want to do that one day? Maybe, but for the most part, I know what I'm feeding my family and it's not processed, so. Okay. So yeah, all right. So let me know where you guys are. So I'm just gonna see, I personally will see my broccoli really quick, but you can keep moving yeah, forward. I'll, I'll just, yeah, okay. yeah. So what's next? So next we have the so we have the chicken, broccoli, bell pepper, and garlic in a large bowl. Then we're gonna add our cheese. Okay. Wait, so, did you put your bell pepper in there already? Yeah, cousin. She's use... missing it. Look at everything's in the bowl, girl. Put Jeez. everything in there. Why I yeah, didn't wait. use bell pepper. How much bell pepper again? Half a cup. Okay, I got I got it. I got it. Yeah, my family doesn't like it, so I didn't use it, but you would at that time um, be able to put that in there. Okay, so how much cheese, Amber? So I have a cup of cheese. Okay. So I pour that in there. Did you and say a cup or half a cup? Real? One cup. Okay. A cup of cheese, you said? Yeah, yeah. Claudia, a cup of cheese, cuz. Cup of cheese. Okay. Now, it says to mix gently once we have our cheese in there. So I'm using my spatula, and these come in all sizes. This is one of the smaller ones. They have 
the classic. Um, they have the mini skinny, which I love for like getting into little jars and different little projects if you'd like to bake. So. <clears throat> now, I'll tell you this, my family is from Wisconsin and we like to eat cheese, so I'm just going to add a little more. And I'm just keeping it real with you guys. My family is going to eat this. <laughs> so I'm just going to, you know, add a little bit more. That's fine. Amber, are you checking on just to make sure there's nobody else trying to come in? Yeah, it'll pop up. I, I don't see anything pop oh, up right okay, now. Cool. Okay, yep. okay. But if you see anybody or hear anybody needing to get in, let me know and I'll check. Okay. Live? Yeah. So another thing about live classes is I do have kids classes and we had so much fun teaching the little ones. Um, we actually had a class for gingerbread house making, which was awesome. I partnered with a local cookie maker. Um, we have a donut class that's coming up next weekend where I partnered with a pastry chef and it's so much fun. The kids love it. Oh, hold on. Let me show you the apron. So cute. <laughs> my daughter would love that oh so you fun. should do that sandy with her friends yeah so i'll show you the <laughs> screen and oh how cute it is it is now I one mean, of the things that i was not expecting to do but it was a request is that we have it in english and in spanish so from 10 30 to 11 30 we do english and then 11 30 to 12 30 we do it in spanish and it has been so much fun Oh, Andrea, your kids would love it. Monica, your little girls would love it. The little, maybe but the top of little girlfriend. What yeah, ages? I would, say, I would say four to four and up. I mean, my, my five-year-old was really into it. I think, you know, the kids just like having, you know, it's problem solving, it's math, it's measuring, it's a lot of things. So um, I think the youngest one we had was probably my son who was five, but if they're siblings too together, they work together, which is so cute. So I'll post a link in the Facebook event about that later. So I have all my cheese, everything mixed up together. <clears throat> Let me see. Did you ask me a question? I think you did. I don't know. I'm gonna take a sip. Wait, did I miss an ingredient? What's the last Just ingredient? The cheese. The cheese. The cheese. Jesus. Cheese. Yep. Yeah, one cup. Okay. Can you put the broccoli in, or is it still cooking? Yeah, no, I'm putting it in right now. I'm actually going to put okay. it in right now. You said the broccoli oh. was how many? Broccoli's what, Amber? One cup? Yep. I put two because my family, you know, I think it's healthy and it just gives a little more heartier of a braid, but that's me. Okay. Let's see. Amber, oh, how are you doing that? Um, um, at five year old and eight year old. So, oh. yeah, and it, you know, I my five year old is so into the kitchen. He loves to help me cook. He uses a lot of these tools, and I feel like it's something that kind of got lost. You know, um, I never took a home ec class. My mom wasn't much of a cook. <clears throat> and when you look at um, family changes over the years, you know, both parents are usually working. It's hard to, you know, how do we teach our kids how to feed themselves in the kitchen and know their way around? So. <clears throat> Yeah, so true. Who knows I threw about this? Broccoli. I'm going to show you guys a secret. You might already know, though. Raise your hand if you know Girl, about this. I've never, I've never purchased that. What? You never tried. No. Who knows about this? No, I don't know. <laughs> Latino version. <laughs> yes, it all is. These Mexicans, you... All these Mexicans don't know about my Unesa. <laughs> I thought I thought y'all was gonna be like, oh, we know about that. This is the best kept secret. I swear to God, I love this. Really? Stuff. Where'd you get that? Why? Why? Like Why? 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 Why, Amber? It just tastes so good. It has limon in it. I don't know Ooh. what it is. It's even money. <laughs> I, I, I mean, it is it just good. Why you Mexican? Hey, why do yeah. Mexicans, they love everything with limon on it. My cousin, Girl, Monica, I don't know where she went. She likes lemon on everything. It's so good though, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't it would, taste like lime. I don't know how to explain it, but it has like a, I don't know, like a zing, like a, I don't know what. So Walmart actually has it by my house. The El Rey probably has it. So. What does that say, mayonnaise? Mayonesa. Huh? Mayonesa. Oh. Yeah, I've never seen that before. With lemon, cousin. You like lemon, so get that one. 
<laughs> She's got to go to yeah. the Latino market. You'll we, I usually there. use Best Foods. That's what they Best Foods selling. or Trader Joe's. Yeah. Oh, it's, <laughs> hey, uh, Amber, let's welcome my friend Kayla. She just joined. Kayla. Hi, Kayla. Hello. Kayla. Hey. hey. Hi. Sorry, I'm like kind of half asleep because I just put my kids to bed and I had one that was like, please lay with me. And then I fell asleep and I was like, oh my gosh, I missed about these things. Girl, how old are your kids? I have a seven, a five, and a six-year-old. Yes, I know the struggle. I do. And I Kayla do. loves the kitchen. She loves the kitchen. I yes, know, I, I do. Like my kids are like extra clingy with COVID. You know, they're so clingy. It's hard. You're like, baby, you know, mommy has things to do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I get it. Hi, Kayla. Hi. Oh, Anna. Hey, girl. <laughs> okay, we're Kayla. eating tacos. That's why we're off. Look, we're eating tacos. Girl, oh, I yeah. do not even want to. I am not going to show my face right now. <laughs> You can see that no, little nice pretty pretty polished picture up there. That's fine. <laughs> You're I know. She looks so professional in that picture. Like, whoa. That's my day job. Right now, I'm I'm grungy as heck. Okay. But it's Friday uh, night. So, you know, I'm not going anywhere. Right? I'll, sh How I'll much show my Vionessa. My How video. Much my the now I'm going to put my Vionessa in here. How now, much? These little, it's uh, one cup. Okay. Oh, oh cup. That, yeah, that is a lot. No, wait, wait, no, 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 no. It's half cup, half cup, half cup, half cup. Sorry. Half cup. Oh, wait, half a cup? Yep. Okay. Half. Now, because I added more broccoli, I I'm going to see if it's too dry. Girl, I, I, I follow you on Instagram, though. I know what's going on. What? You're busy hibernating. Girl, oh, my gosh. I, well, you know, I'm, you know I'm doing my Vida Botanicals the robes and everything so i mean it's i'm in it i'm in it so i saw that you got your llc yes congrats thank you thank you and i have yeah i have two sewists two latina sewists i was gonna send you a senora that i know but she's kind of slow i think whoever you found is probably better but she's good but she's slow. yeah well the I mean, is gonna I think take it's always Send me her info either way because I think anyway it's good to have somebody just in case. Okay, her name is Angelica. Okay, okay Amber. So it's half a cup. Okay, half I'll, a cup I'll, of mayo, okay. and that just worked just fine for. And I thought I was like, well, I have to add more, but I didn't. So you have my half a cup of mayo, mayonesa, the secret ingredient. You'll be so popular with all of your family and friends who taste that mayonesa. All right. How many of you have seen this before? Miss out the face. Let me see. Can we? Can you get close, on? Can you get close, girl? Uh, what is that? It's an adjustable measuring spoon, which I love. It's a total space saver. So it has one tablespoon down to one teaspoon. And oh so wow! So I just slide this Ooh. up and down. Okay. So I already pre-measured my dill weed, not my dill seed. Um, let me look at how much I put in here. This is two teaspoons. I love these silicone bowls. They're amazing. I use them all the time, especially with my kids. Can we see up close, ones. babe? You got to show us up close I got all the so time. Much. Okay. All right. So these are the little tiny, tiny ones and they have, I don't know if you can see the measurements. Yes. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So this is a tiny one, but it comes all the way up to this size. Like I put little snacks for my kids. They have lids on them. They're freezable. Um, I think they can go on the microwave too. I don't, I try not to use the microwave too much, but um, they're great for the kids. I use them so much. So what's the next so, ingredient? Is it the dill weed? The dill weed and then the salt. How much for the dill weed, babe? The dill weed is going to be two teaspoons. And then the salt is a quarter teaspoon. That's a lot of dill weed. You know, I, I've never cooked with dill weed. What is dill weed? <laughs> so dill is an herb. Have you ever heard of like dill dip before? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So similar. In fact, you know what? Let me bring up that story. I had a lady message me yesterday like, help. 
And I'm like, what? And she's like, it's Super Bowl Sunday and I don't have any dill for my dill dip. I was like, oh my gosh. So she's meeting me tomorrow and she's going to meet me in the parking lot and I'm going to get it to her because <laughs> she loves the dill dip. We have so many seasonings. People don't even realize what we all have. You and know what? Them. It's funny yeah. that you are telling me that or you're saying that because now that I remember like 15 years ago, I remember I bought seasonings to make dips from mm -hmm. Pepper Chef and they were so good. Yeah, girl, they are like seriously under, like people don't know it's a secret, but they're good. <laughs> Speaking of which, where'd I put it? Right here. Are the spices yeah. sodium free? Are they what? Sodium free? Um, It has all the ingredients. Let me see. Where did I just put that dill? Here we go. So ingredients on here, and it has the dip recipes on here, so that's nice. Ingredients, dill weed, dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onion, herbs, and spices. No salt, sugar, or preservatives added. Okay, yeah. I like to get ones with no salt. Yep, gluten-free, GMO-free. Yeah. So, now, How do you have, like, or you just don't realize it, because you like tuna, uh, tuna melts, and they're in tuna melts. Dill is like one of the main ingredients on tuna melts. Oh, really? Yeah, it's what gives it like so much. Hmm? Yeah. It gives Wait, it what flavor. gives tuna melts and green? What, Monica? What ingredient? Dill. Dill is inside tuna melts. It's like one of the main ingredients to give it that taste in a wow. tuna melt. Amber, I want to make sure because it seems like a lot to me. You said two teaspoons of the dill weed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> two teaspoons, not tablespoons, teaspoons. So two of these. It smells really good. Yeah. It, oh, oh, get away. Um, I was going to say, oh, so if you haven't tried our spices, I was just checking the recipe. If you have not tried our spices, guess what, guys? Who has a bark box? Who has dogs for spice? <laughs> Me. Ah, who gets the bark box subscription? Bark box? What's that? Ooh, I shouldn't sell it. I don't have it. We just got it in the mail. Every month we get a dog toy and dog treat. It's so oh. fun. I signed up over COVID because I'm like, oh, well, what are we going to do? Play with the dogs all day. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. So Pamper Chef has a subscription service, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Let me show you. All right. So you're like, I don't know what to make for dinner. Well, in the mail, if you can subscribe in one month, um, there's different increments. It's called Taste Buds. Every, every month you'll get, a rest, you'll get a recipe. Okay. okay. You'll actually get three like recipes. This. Okay. And then you'll get three seasonings. Oh. And there's more than enough for the recipe. I mean, it gives you a lot more than what you actually need. So this one particular one was garlic, lemon garlic. And this is crushed pepper, corn, garlic. So this is a garlic month. Um, but they have different flavors every single month. And they even have substitutions on here. So if you, let's say you're vegan or you didn't like mushrooms, it'll have the swaps right on there. Mm -hmm. And the recipes are really good. I mean, obviously not everything's going to be for everybody. But, and there's like different tips on how to use all the spices. So it's super fun. And it's so, um, it helps you mix up your kitchen, you know, your recipe rotation. So, so that's called taste buds. All right. So everybody put all their ingredients. You have the salt, the dill weed, everybody good. Yeah. What was after dill weed? The salt. How much salt, um, Amber? So you need a quarter teaspoon. Let me take a sip. All right. Everybody good? Yes. Anybody? 
have a question? Okay, so I'm going to bring over now my stone with the crescent roll on it. Hey, is there, is there, um, we're, you haven't done anything with the egg, have you? Not yet, that's the last. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, so I have my crescent roll here. And what I'm going to do is scoop on the chicken in a row down the middle. So this is, remember, this is going to make two. So I only need half of this for one. Okay. Okay. I, I cannot tell you, I never braided nothing in my life besides hair before I made this. And I felt super fancy and like a master chef. It was just like, and my husband ate it all up and he wanted me to make more. So it was a hit. So you said put it down in the, oh, how cute. You're saying, you said put it down in the middle. Okay. Okay. Leave like a inch or two on either side. Okay. Yep. Okay. And leave a little bit at the top or bottom because you're going to fold it over. So do you see how I have like about an inch here? Yes. An inch here. Okay. So next I'm going to just cut like one inch and it does not have to be even try to make them somewhat even little strips right up to the chicken. I don't know if you guys can. Okay. It's okay if they're a little uneven. I mean, you try to be even, but. Okay. Do we have a, a helper too over there, Sandra? Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I love it. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, mommy. <laughs> I told her we were doing this tonight. She said, I want to be your sous chef. Oh, I love it. Oh, that just makes my heart like so full of joy. I love that. It's such a okay, bonding too, you know? Why are you doing the slits? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amber, yep. she said, why are you doing the slits? So I'm just doing inch wide slits on either side. I just took a knife and went do 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 all the way down on either side. Okay, so this is gonna go in the middle then. Yep, it's a row of the middle. Yep. Oh. What do you need, baby? You're cold? Okay, Daddy, close the window. Yeah, I got it. Put it more right here. Okay. Right oh. <laughs> I got to catch up on my question drinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right. So once you have the slits, you're going to fold the top piece, oops, you're going to fold it, it's hard to show you guys, I'll try and see, fold the top piece up, take the top two, and just bring them together and, okay, so okay. And then you can just tuck it in, you know, like that, tuck it in, okay, okay, or over, I should say, got it, Wow. Got it. Go there. Okay. So then we're just going to, just like a French braid, you guys, bring one side from each side and okay, twist them together. And if the crescent ones, if you got the rolls, sometimes the seams come apart, you just pinch them back together. They'll be okay. All right. Okay. 
Yeah, where do you usually find the long strips of crescents? Because I went to Mayer and they didn't have them. Yeah, you know, Walmart, I get my groceries delivered from Walmart. Oh, okay. And they got them, yeah. Now that I don't go grocery shopping, it's such a luxury. I'm just like, <laughs> get them on the front porch. <laughs> Save time. And plus, I do not like to take my small children to the store. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Ooh, look at mine. Look at y'all. Look see. at y'all. Mm -hmm. Nice. It looks really good. Pretty. Look at Amber. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Okay. Good job. All right. Milena, you're doing a great job, Milena. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. She wanted to cut the slit. Then are you gonna cook it? Yep. Yeah. So now I did not um whisk my eggs yet, but I have my egg white in another silicone bowl. And this is our mini whipper. Okay. Oh. And I'm just gonna use it in here. I like it for small jobs. Wait, babe, is that the egg? This is my egg white, yep. Yeah. Your egg white. Can I just do it? Can I include the yolk or no? Let me see what it says here. Um, it just says the egg white. You know, honestly, I, I don't know how it would turn out. Okay, up. okay. Cousin, you don't have egg whites like this? No, no. <laughs> but I can do it. I can do it. You got it, girl. Okay. You got it, girl. Old school, right? Yeah. I could do it. No, no worry. All right. And are you putting that on top of the um, dough? Yeah, so I have our um, silicone baster brush from Pampered Chef, which I love. It has a little handle here. So if I wanted to rest it on the side, it can inside or outside so it doesn't fall into the bowl. So I'm just gonna take this and brush it over top. I need one of those actually, Amber. I don't okay, have girl. one of those. Well, I need on one of those. List. Yeah. Uh, shit, what do I do? If I don't have one of those, I guess I use my fingers. Um, there you go. I don't have a brush. Oh, you know what? Never mind. I could use this. Never mind. I know what to okay. do here. Improvise. Yeah. Now, if you got the almonds, go ahead, girl. Put them on. Sprinkle them on. Um, let's see. Yep. I'm not using almonds, again, because my husband can't eat nuts. But if you guys want to go ahead, after you put the egg wash, go ahead and sprinkle those almonds. You'd be extra fancy with that. All right. I'm going to pop mine in the oven so I can get ready just to show you my quick little salad. Okay, so nice. once we do, I'm sorry, once we put the egg on top, we put the almonds on top? Yep, mm -hmm. sprinkle oh, okay. them over. Yep. And it's 25 to 28 minutes. So I'm gonna set my timer on my oven. You said how many minutes? 25 to 28. Okay, so we're putting it in the oven. Alexa, set timer for 25 minutes. 
Okay. Oh, you got your Alexa all booked up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I got one. Good. I got to remember how to use it. I just am like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So is Aida still with us? Is Aida cooking? Yes. Yes. Aida. I'm not cooking. Oh, you're not cooking, you're observing. Oh my God. My Alexa just heard That's making it come by your house to pick some up. It's set for 25 minutes too. Wait, Aida, I can't hear you. Can you turn up your volume, my cousin Aida? What'd you say? I said that I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pass by Claudia's house since I think she might live the closest of the ones who are making it so that I where, can try where, it. Where do you live, Aida? No, Claudia's uh, in the valley. Culver City. I thought, oh. I, well, she's I, the closest I, of the one cooking. <laughs> Come over, Aida, and have some. That was a game. <laughs> 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 okay, okay so we have so, to wait 25 minutes yeah you do, you do, you do. <laughs> should i have the leftover in here uh, while we're waiting yeah it makes two so you can make two braids if you want while i make my oh. salad if you want to do that oh oh, oh i'm shit. making a caesar salad oh hey now, here I am breaking about Walmart, and they didn't mash it up today with my tomatoes. They were supposed to be here, and my red onions. But I can still show you what I have, what tools I use here. Cousin, are you making the salad? No, cousin, I'm making a, the second braid because I have a lot. Oh. Yep, yeah, it makes I two just, braids. Yep. I just made one. <laughs> Maybe or oh, Amber. Oh no. Yes. Maybe while we're waiting, I don't know what you're doing. Maybe the girls can say um, their name and their favorite dish to cook. Oh yeah, let's hear it. Okay, I'll start with me. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody knows me. I'm Pati Cheka. And what is my, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm going to be honest, Amber. I used to hate cooking. I hate the kitchen. Uh, I'm very impatient. I like things quick. I like things in 20 minutes or less. Then let's make fun of me, cousin. Because you're, cause you're 10 times worse. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> and, uh, but you know what? During this pandemic, I started to make new recipes. And because my son one day said to me, Mom, you make the same five freaking recipes like every week. It's the same thing over and over. So I started to like YouTube and just like cut pictures out of magazines. And I started making new recipes. So all of a sudden I'm starting to like the kitchen more. And I never used to like the kitchen. The best cook from, I don't know who, but I, my cousin Monica, she's right there. She's like a really fucking good cook. She's a really good cook. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Kayla, Kayla's good in the kitchen too. I don't know about everybody else, but um, but anyways, this pandemic really has me like, I guess, because we have nothing else to do. So yeah. um, so I've just been doing like new recipes, and my son's like, Mom, what's happening? I'm like, I don't know. I think it's this pandemic. So now I'm like trying new stuff, and I'm I think it's I'm happy maybe because I'm getting older. <laughs> I have more patience. I don't know. No, no, I don't have any patience, but anyway. Well, you don't have nothing else to do, so. I mean, yeah, but I'm trying, you know what I do? I literally cut pictures out of the, uh, what magazine is that? I think it's, is it the Oprah magazine? I don't know, somebody has really good recipes in there. How's beautiful, somebody. And there's such amazing the recipes that take you like, honestly, I have to cook stuff that's 30 minutes or less. I won't cook that. that. Matter of fact, I made lasagna for the first time two weeks ago and it took me two hours and I did oh. it and I go wow it's not as bad it's not as hard as I thought it just took me a little bit okay so who's next who's your favorite who's next let's see I'll call you out Sandy Sandy what's your favorite 
to cook. But you know what? Usually, like anything with fish or turkey, um, ground turkey. Like I like to do turkey tacos or like pastas with turkey, just because it's so easy, <laughs> you know. But I like I've been wanting to like cook different dishes lately too and try different things. Oh. What's yeah, that, Amber? So this is for your ground turkey. It's so amazing. Our ground beef or a lot of different things. But this is the, oh gosh, it's slipping my mind. Let me look it up. But everybody I know has it. And you just, I, when you're I wanted to get meat, that. I like that. It's so good. Yeah, what, me, what is that called again? Because I want to get that one. I had too much wine. Let me check. <laughs> Amber, all the stuff yeah. you suggest tonight, send it to us like in an email or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll post all the tools that I use. For yeah, sure. so I'm going to remember this later. Yeah, no, but this is so great for, for ground beef and ground turkey. I don't know about you guys, but I am so picky. I want to ground down really fine. I don't want to bite into a big old gristle or anything. So I really like that. Yeah, because it takes a long time to, um, you know, do the ground. Because I like to make spaghetti and it takes like a while for me to ground that. So I saw that on your catalog and I'm like, okay, chop. I got to get that. Yeah. What's it called? Chop. Mix and chop. So okay. when you said ground ground turkey okay great so ground turkey and fish and that's the thing you know when you're trying to eat certain foods certain tools might work better for your kitchen so so what's your favorite uh fish uh recipe that you make sandy sandy can you hear me yes okay what's your favorite fish I love like tilapia and salmon that's what we usually cook oh those. i love salmon yeah and then do you grill it or bake it or both all different ways i'll saute it in a frying pan um barbecue it bake it yeah always different it. does anybody have any pampered chef cookware at all just before we go to the next person i was wondering i yeah. do who said that who's i do that's me, Kayla. <laughs> oh, Kayla, what cookware do oh. you have, my friend? Let's see your beautiful have, face, girl. Because my sister used to be, like, she used to love Pampered Chef, so she gave me a ton of stuff. Like, if you, like, I, I'm still missing a few things, but, you know, she gave me, like, a lot of the, the spatula for, like, baking and that masher that you just showed, which I love. I probably use it. I use it for, like, my mashed potatoes to make, like, refried beans like it's just such a good tool. Um, yeah, and like a few measuring spoons and some things like that. Yes, um, I'm so glad that you like them. You know, our cookware, let me just give you guys, just to Patty, I don't wanna cut anybody off. I just wanna say our sales have increased over 400% since COVID because people are cooking at home. And I'll be honest, I was like to you, I did not like being in the kitchen either. But the tools make it fun and you're like, okay, this is going to be way easier than, you know, what I used to do. So our cookware right now is amazing. Let me see where one of my pieces is. I'll look for it. Why don't we have the next person tell us what. Okay, so let's go with Andrea. You're next on the screen. Go ahead, Andrea. Go for go, Andrea. You go. I'm going. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I, I feel like I love making just arroz con pollo with the rotisserie chicken. Arroz con pollo? Yeah, because it's easy. Like, what do you mean? You make, you like mix it up? So you or take- Or you just make chicken and rice? Chicken. Yeah. You're so yeah. cute. Okay, arroz con pollo. That yeah. sounds so good. What do you use? What kind of a pan or pot or what do you use for that? Um, I just use like a regular pot. I don't have any special- I recently got a like an iron, like a cast iron. Oh yeah, is that what it's called? Cast iron. Maybe yeah, cast iron. I don't know a lot about cooking. I just like to eat. Well, y'all should all just join my VIP group because I'm always posting tips. So I'll throw that little plug out there. But um, so I don't know if you guys have ever heard of our enamel cookware. This is heirloom quality. If you guys want something to hand down to your children or keep forever, this is the enamel cookware. It's beautiful. Guess what? There's a blue color. I'm going to pop the box open tonight and show you guys. It has this nice nonstick coating. It does not retain any flavors. It's heavy. 
It's beautiful. I love them and they will last forever. Let me show you our deep covered baker. You guys, I had to get an extra kitchen cart for all the stuff. I have so much and I use a lot, you know, I use a lot of different stuff. <clears throat> this baby is enamel. And again, this piece will last forever. And it has these little condensation bumps. I don't know if you can see those on here. Yeah. So when it's cooking, it's self-basting because then the liquids go back over it. So you might be able to cook your arroz con pollo in one of these too. Ah. Oven, oven, stove top. If you have electric, it goes on there too. So does it work on induction? I have induction. Yes. Yes, it does. Uh -huh. oh, nice. Um. What was I gonna say? Oh, our air fryer does do rotisserie chicken as well. So oh. I thought I'd throw that plug. Okay. Well, <laughs> Actually, can we, oh. does anyone have an air fryer? I've been interested in getting an air fryer. Yeah, fryer. it works good. It's can you really show, good. Amber, can you show your, do you have the air fryer? Yep, I'll get it, I'll get it. If somebody wants to um, tell their. Okay, their... Monica, my cousin's next. Monica Ramirez, Monica Martin's next on the screen. Go ahead, go for go, Monica, go for go. <laughs> I have an air fryer, by the way. Okay, what's uh, your favorite thing to cook, cousin? Which you cook a lot. My cousin's a bomb ass cook. The, my favorite thing to cook, uh, to be honest with you, I don't even really enjoy cooking. I just cook because because I have to, because I'm a mom and I have kids who love food, <laughs> but I don't enjoy it, to be honest. <laughs> I really don't. But I do, I do want to say that, like in my household, we all eat very different. We all have a different diet. So it's really challenging because both my girls are vegetarian, vegan, and then I'm always on some kind of diet. And then my son and my husband eat what. So it's really hard. But the one thing that everybody eats is, um, even though my girls are vegan, they make an exception for this. I make some tuna patties that are really good. The easiest thing to make, all you have to do is add the tuna, boil red potato, and pop in an egg. And you just make patties out of them, like hamburger patties. Before you fry them, put them on a bed of breadcrumb and them. And then, you know, season them however you want to season them up to you. I put garlic and a little bit of salt and a tiny bit of lorries and some other random spices that I have that don't have salt. Um, and they are so, of course, I put lemon on them when, we, when I serve them. Um, that on a bed of rice with cucumbers is like, it's like the one thing that my entire likes which is rare because we don't sit down and do the same thing ever. Can you... Can you please type that recipe while we're everybody else talking? Put it on the chat, please, because it sounds really good. I don't even know how to freaking do that. I see Candy's typing away. I don't know. Like, I don't yeah. Know. So you click on the bottom where it says chat. There's a little chat at the bottom of your screen. There should be a little chat. You click on there and you chat. Okay, yes, I see. I need that recipe. Yes. I see. Yeah. Stop. Oh, share content, participate, or more. That's it. And mute. More. That's it. Click more. Go to more. Go to Maybe. more. Oh, chat. Got it. Okay. There you go. Okay, Kayla, my K my Kaylita from Wisconsin. Kayla, what's your favorite thing to cook, my dear? We can't hear you. Unmute. You gotta unmute. We can't hear you. You gotta unmute. I think is it oh there you go there you go it, okay go ahead go ahead sorry <laughs> excuse I'm in my PJs I'm sorry everyone it's okay it's okay it's okay so what what's the question what's your favorite thing to cook for your family um I you know I mean I go through like phases but right now I'm like really into making soups so like lentil soup um, chili, you know, just warm food because it's so freaking cold up here. So <laughs> I just want to like have like as much hot stuff. So like I've been making like this like lentil kind of chicken type soup. 
kind of my favorite. And I make it once every couple weeks or something. Nice. Okay. Yeah, Kayla's really creative in the kitchen too. Matter of fact, Kayla's we <laughs> You're so fun. We were talking about the whole 30. You know that book, the cookbook you gave me, the whole 30? I, I, girl, yeah, I made a recipe out of it last week. Did you like it? Yeah, I liked it. Because one of my friends was talking about be getting on that whole 30 diet or something, just on the whole 30. And I said, yeah. Oh my God, my friend gave me a cookbook. So I, I was like, I'm gonna go through it and see what I can make. And I made one thing and I I forgot what I made, but I made something. <laughs> like your bases you know like to make your mayo you know and just like other sauces I use that I use all the time like the curry recipe in that book is really good oh really okay okay Kayla's usually asleep by nine o'clock by the way so she's this is past her bedtime so I'm happy she's here but I I'm looking forward to wait what I'm probably gonna go to sleep pretty soon here. <laughs> I guess I'm asleep. But I'm looking forward to the email. Great to meet everyone on here. Are these all your cousins, Patty? Or like so so Kayla, you came on later, but we introduced everybody. So Monica okay. Martin is my cousin. And Claudia, okay. where it says Giovanni, that's her sister. They're sisters. Those are my cousins. Those are my mom's sister's daughters. Okay. Then we've got we've got Sandra Reese. She's also from California. She's a good friend okay. since high school. And then, you know, Andrea. Yes. Andrea. And then my cousin, Aida, which she, she's not live either because she just got off of work. My okay. cousin, Aida, is actually from my dad's side of the family. And a lot of people say we look alike. A lot of people say we look alike. Okay. Or that me and her mom look alike, actually. Anyway. And then, and then Anna, I guess Anna Mello logged off. Anna Mello has gone. I don't see her anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you, Kayla, for joining. And she'll uh, Amber will send an email. Okay. Perfect. Yes, thank okay. you. Thank you, Kayla. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, bye. Claudia, what's your favorite uh, thing to cook, cousin, for your family? Uh so really my husband cooks. <laughs> uh, so I don't I'm not really much of the cook. I'm more of the cleaner. Um, but sometimes I'll make things like, for example, spaghetti, they love my spaghetti and I put it, you know, I mix it with spinach, um, and they really like that. And I'll make like vegetables, but I'm really the only one who eats vegetables. Um, I like cauliflower mashed potatoes, but they don't really eat that. I do, but that, that's a really good one. Um, you know, instead of potatoes, right. So it's healthier. Um, I also make breaded chicken, um, couscous. Um, I love couscous with like feta cheese and um, cucumbers, tomatoes, olive oil. It's really good. Um, and I like that uh, mushroom spinach recipe, cousin. I, I've been making that one, uh, the oh. one that, for my grandma. Yeah. Um, and my kids love that whenever I make it. So yeah. And then uh, cheesecake. I like, um, they like my cheesecake for dessert. Oh, wow. I didn't know you. So you do make a handful of things. I thought you didn't make anything at all. I thought maybe you only had like one or two things you make. <laughs> no, I make different things different times. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So that's everybody, Amber. Okay. All right. Well, I love hearing all the different recipes and ideas. And, you know, we all, you guys said it to my family. Ugh, they can be so picky. And you know what? Part of me is like, you're going to eat what I made you. But then the other part of me is like, I mean, cool, whatever you want, I'll make it. <laughs> so, you know, um, and I, like I said, I, I do enjoy cooking now that I have all the fun tools. So I just wanted to circle back to this um, cast iron, enamel cast iron. It is a lifetime guarantee and dishwasher safe. So there's that. Here's the air fryer. Love the air fryer. It's been really, really popular, obviously. So you can air fry, you can bake, you can roast, you can rotisserie, you can reheat. Like I was saying, I don't use my microwave as much. I use this and it just, you know, when you put things in the microwave, they get so chewy and like, I don't know how to say it. It just doesn't take the texture. You lose that texture. And so in the air fryer, I feel like it maintains that. I know people that make steaks in here, reheat meat in here. I mean, I'll do like, we have a casserole. I'll put our serving on a little, I have a little stone I use 
that pamper chaff cells. And I just pop it in here. Um, and it also has a dehydrate, so you can make beef jerky in here, or de dehydrate fruit. So there's trays that just go in here. There's actually a wire tray, but they're in the dishwasher. And they just go in there, and you just set it up, and I love it. It's We made, actually, chicken parmesan in here last night. It was so good, and I didn't have to use any oil, so. Oh, wow. It came out so good. Everybody ate it all up. I was like, wow, it made me feel so good. I was like, hey, I made something delicious. So, so yeah, that's the air fryer. We also have a cooking blender. Have you guys heard of our deluxe cooking blender? No. I'll post about it. <clears throat> I have it, but it's going to be a little harder to bring in front of camera. But it does cook, and you can make your own milk. You can make cashew milk, almond milk. You can make peanut butter, jams, jellies soups nacho sauce i love it love it love it so that's another favorite uh, tool no i just went away because you guys were too loud <laughs> monica we can hear you oh, <laughs> it's okay you guys oh my gosh seriously it's all good you know what else right. tastes good in the air fryer is french fries yes we have a uh, basket for the fries it's so good all right, let me show you our simple slicer. So this simple slicer has three has uh, three different uh, levels. You can do the lock, which makes it flat, and then you can uh, increase or decrease. I'm sure many of you have seen these before. Okay. So I'm just gonna show you how it slices our onion. We have coated knives and we have these German steel knives, okay? I have both. This is just like a steak knife, but I really, isn't this so pretty, you guys? Yeah, I like that one. So pretty, mm. and it has all different colors. So, so Amber, that's one thing I'm in desperate need of, like desperate need is a good, like a, like a couple of good cutting knives, girl, because yeah. my knives are like, I mean, I even have like a sharpener and I feel like they don't, they're just, no. Are, are, are Pepper you. Chef's knives good? Be careful because I actually cut myself the first time because I was so used to my old dull knives. I thought it was going to take more work, but this is like butter. It goes right through and I cut myself the first time I used it. Not too okay. bad, but I did. So, so the blue one is for what, hon? The blue one is for what? Um. So this is called, you know, there's different ones. I have, let me see. Like, cause you know, sometimes they're like, oh, this one's good for cutting vegetables. This one's good for cutting meats or. So that's the chef's knife. So the chef knife is good for like vegetables. I mean, bigger vegetables, um, the carrots. I mean, really you could use it for a lot of different things. Let me just see if it, I should know more about that. That's something I do have to learn on. Um, but there is a set, or you can buy them individually. We have tomato knife. We have a utility knife. Let me grab that one. Which one do you tend to use a lot, Amber, for cutting, hun? Because really, you know, I need, just need one for cutting vegetables. I cut everyday vegetables, you know? You know, this one I loved because I had it first, but now I like this one a lot. I mean, and really, there are different uses, so I guess... I mean, ideally the set would be great, but if you, okay. you know, this one I love. I mean, I feel like you can use it for so many things. We okay. have these herring knives, and these are really reasonable. They're like, I think $10 for three of them. And what? Was, yeah. And okay, I need a set of those. <laughs> They're very popular. Yeah, people love them. All right, so I have my mandolin here. I'm going to put it on one, and I think our stuff should be almost done, right? It's like uh, like three more minutes, three more three more minutes. Yep. So, oh, I didn't. I got off my sleigh here. Oh, mine just went off. I think I must have been a little bit ahead of you guys. All right. So I have my onion here. All right, and my son, who's five, has actually used this. Okay. So what are you doing, babe? What are you doing? You're slicing what? Onions. Onions. So. Ah. Uh this is, it's so thin. I don't know if you can see, 
So Ooh, what I, I was like planning to do was my red onions and put it on my salad, but my red onion didn't come. But see how thin those are? So nice. Okay. And then it goes all the way up to three, which I'll just show you that. And then I'll grab my stuff. Alexa, stop. So this will be a nice size for like burgers or fried onions if you wanted to do that. What's that beep sound? Who's beeping? That's my That's oven. mine. The timer's oh, up. The timer. That's mine. Turn it off. <laughs> Oh, damn, mine is looking good, girl. Mine's looking good. It smells good. good, doesn't it? You guys, I'm so it excited. It's toasty. Now, I, I'm not supposed to show you these, but these are for March. They're coming out. They're trivets. They're silicone, and they're nesting, and aren't they so cute? I just love them. I love them. What so, are, they're trivets. What are trivets, girl? For a hot dish, you put it down so it protects your surface. Got it. Mm -hmm. And then I have, we have silicone oven mitts. So these See, I want ones. those. I want yes. those. Yes. What are, are those great. called? These are a little oven mitts. Oven mitts. They're like the, mic. I think they're called the microwave size, but I like them. Okay, here's my chicken braid. Yeah, I want, I want oh. those, I want gloves. Um, mine still has like two more minutes. <laughs> Who's beeping? <laughs> That's me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, what else can I show you? Do you guys have any requests for me to show you anything else? <clears throat> oh gosh! Look, I know we were gonna make the sale. We kind of ran out of See, time. Patty, but, you, know. you made it. You were worried because I made it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay. Fun and delicious. Yes. Can't wait Ooh. to taste it. Uh, yeah, is there anything so you guys want to see? I'm trying to, Claudia, is there anything you want to see? She said she's asking if there's anything you want to see, like maybe like when you were looking through the link, anything you want her to show you? Um, yeah, I just wanted to know like what are the best like items, but I do like that, that uh, masher thing. Mm -hmm. I want to get that mashing Tops. thing. Quiet mm -hmm. And then that uh, the things that you just showed us. So is that on? Is that for sale for for the public yet? Um, so these these are not these are not. Mm -hmm. But if you host with me, you guys will get Pat Fatty some perks on that, um, and you can definitely get some of these um, in March. And those are going to be released for March. We have so many great. I wish I could show them all to you. I gave you a sneak peek. Um, of those, I want one amazing. of these, huh? I want one of those too, Amber. And I think yes. I want those scissor things too. Yes, these are awesome. And, and the garlic um, crusher. Yes, you will love garlic. Is so healthy. Oh, you know what? You guys will appreciate this too if you make if you use limon. The citrus press is so good. There's no chipping. You know, I bought the cheap ones. They chip. They break. They the plastic ones too. These are amazing. So we have a citrus press I was going to show you. And you know what I like about this one? See how there's little more, you get more juice with the shape of this. So we have a brownie pan, which is really popular. You can make a Minecraft sword with these if you have a boy that want, or who a girl who likes to play Minecraft. We can have, you show us? Uh-huh. Um, can you show us the pizza stone thing? I was considering oh, yeah. that. Look, yeah. look at mine, you guys. Uh, look at my braid. Look at my braid. Ooh, it looks so good. You it need does. to put that on Instagram, girl. Yeah, girl, I will. <laughs> I'm like, serious. Like my, my son says I post too many things on Instagram. He says I post too much. Wait, mom, uh, you don't have to post everything. Stop <laughs> look away. Look away. <laughs> So this is my stone. This is one of the new stones. And you can see, this is okay. It's not dirty. This is how it's supposed to look. In okay. fact, the darker, yes. the better. Yes. It has a I lip want, now. That, that, that I want for sure. I've been want, I want one for sure because mine oh. broke. Oh, I know. These are stronger. The new stoneware is much improved. That you can tell the pattern on the back. These are dishwasher safe, broiler safe. 
and, and it has this little lip to help things from falling back. You don't have to just cook pizza. You can cook, bake anything on here. Yeah, okay. Amber, you know what? I think I, I honestly, personally, I think I broke mine. I think I dropped it. Yeah, like I broke it myself or something. It didn't just break. I did something. I forget, but I broke it. Yeah, I know that happens sometimes. Yeah. But these are um, yeah, stronger and more durable. Uh, yeah. Cast iron pot. Is there just one? It looked kind of small. Oh, but yeah, you have no, a right. Um, I have a lot of cast iron. I can show you that. These are also made in the U.S. Just so you know. Oh, okay. Before I put these back, isn't this adorable color? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's so cute. I love it. I love it. So, but these are little loaf pans. I make little meat loaves in here, cornbread, little baby oh bread. Oh my! So fun. Oh, that's a good idea. One of those. What is that called? Low pan, mini low pan. Low pan. All right. So we, have, good. we have our enamel coated um, cast iron and then we have our regular cast iron. So what I'm showing you here is our enamel cast iron. This is not going to require like, if you have regular cast iron, you know you have to take certain care of it where you can't wash it the same way. And I know that can be intimidating. I like both kinds. This one I do like, cause it has kind of like this nonstick finish already. This Dutch cooker, deep cooker. Let me just see the size. I think it's two. Mm -mm. That's more of a pot, but do you have like a frying pan cast iron? Cause I want it mostly to make like my, I'm really into steaks and chickens. So oh like girl. So do you have, that's like a pot. I want, I yeah. want like a, like a pan. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Let me tell you about those. Okay. So these are, these are, yes. So these are from, um, from oven and stove to table too. So that's why they're a little bit different. Let me get the bigger cast iron. Danny, what are you typing, girl? Are you working or what? Danny, <laughs> okay, are you cabrona? She's an entrepreneur. Leave her alone. She's on Clubhouse right now. So, but I'm inviting my friend on Clubhouse. I'm so addicted. Oh my god. I know it's addicting. It is. Are you guys seriously? You know what? Someone on when I was working on set yesterday, I overheard two people, and then I got in the conversation. They're like, oh, you like Clubhouse? Club? I'm like, my friend just told me about Clubhouse. What the hell is Clubhouse? Andrea, do you know about Clubhouse? My brother's addicted. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys. What the fuck? It's like, you know what, Patty? Remember when we used to go out and network in person? It's like doing that, but just it's, doing it on, you yeah. know, online where you, you don't have to see each other. We're not doing this video stuff. They just see your picture and your bio. And if they know more about you, they go to your Instagram page. And you, okay. you know, meet people that way. And, you know, for my business, it's been good. It's Aww. just, really? you, you just hear each other to business. Yeah, I have, own a credit repair company. So I help people increase their credit scores. Yeah, Andrea, if you know anybody, she, she fixes credit. That's what Sandy, that's her business. Yeah, I've been doing it for over 15 years. We're the highest rated, most reviewed on Yelp with 175 five-star reviews because we have integrity and we help people. And so I'm big on helping women. And so, you know, I just, I love to, you know, help people. And that's why I like to learn how to do That's awesome. awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, might have information I, I might actually know someone. Yeah, <laughs> Sandy's awesome. Sandy's fuck. She has fucking billboards in, Cal in California, billboards and shit. Big ass, Bill has billboards with her face on it. <laughs> you know how, to, here, here in Wisconsin, we have, the, the uh, grouper law, that's all. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Danny's got billboards in California and sh all big and shit that with her credit. Awesome. And by the way, I'm mad that Aida, we can't see my, my cousin's beautiful face, but Aida, please yeah. tell, because Andrea would be interested. Andrea, you would love my cousin because she actually works for the state of California. What do you do, Aida? Tell them what you do. Um, so right now, this past year, I've been working, I'm the deputy director at the um, California Workforce Development Board. 
So I work on um, workforce development strategies and invest in like equity, climate mitigation, and job quality. So mostly investing in areas and regions in the state that are underserved or communities that are, don't have access to quality jobs and uh, investing in their, the training that's needed to incorporate to add value to their to their work and increase their wages and also looking at climate affected industries and green the green economy. But I really come out of the nonprofit world. I was running a nonprofit um, for the last uh, the last decade and then was a union organizer for that. So a little bit of everything, but now I'm trying to figure out how to be a civil servant, <laughs> which is challenging times, but I guess challenging times for everybody. Yeah. She's gonna be next Latina president of the United States one day. I know. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> you I know. are. You yes, are. Yes, yeah, do, I, it, do it. And then I my friend that. Andrea. Andrea, tell them what you do, hon. Tell them what you do. I don't even know what I do because I've been. No, for, tell them about tell them about your me boss, your me boss page for the community page. Oh my for, gosh, Patty, you are too funny. <laughs> so many years ago, I started a, a local Latino event website which has gotten no love in the last two years because I started at a nonprofit. I finally like returned back to the formal workforce. And um, I will have to say it's, it's interesting. Like I have a day job, I don't take my 2 p.m. naps anymore. Um, <laughs> so, the, you know, I, I feel like I have a lot to learn. Uh, is it Aida? I, how do you say? Aida. Uh -huh. Aida. Um, yeah, I have a lot to learn and we have um, big initiatives that we want to do for our local Latino community in terms of um, increasing, you know, upskilling, higher paying jobs for local Latino community. So, yeah, I'm like, awesome. Andrea. yeah, that's why I'm like, Andrea, you would, yeah, you and Aida kind of are kind of like, because Aida helps people, the same thing, like the job and stuff. But I have a lot to learn. So, yeah. I, can't wait to vote for you for president. Oh my God. <laughs> mm. By the way, Andrea. By the way, Andrea, you should and Aida, you guys should put your Instagram and Facebook tags. Maybe you guys, oh, everybody, could connect. Um, Andrea's very, very. Um, she's just all about like you know humanity and the, like Aida. Basically, everything you love and everything you post, Andrea's the same way. Just about like just yeah, she's very passionate about everything about everything, political stuff. Yes. Awesome. And then my cousin, it says Giovanni, but that's not her name. Her name is Claudia. Uh, <laughs> Claudia, tell me what you do. Claudia, tell me what you do. Hi guys. I'm the director coordinator of the Career Center at LA Mission College. And I invited Aida to uh, join us in an event that I um, coordinated for the campus called Discover My Major Day for undecided students who don't really know what they want to major in yet or what career path they want to go into. So Aida was one of the people who um, maybe spoke to some students, I hope. How did that go, Aida? <laughs> it went well. I, I, the first session I was talking to a, a gentleman who's actually a counselor. And so we were talking about that when you popped in. And then... <laughs> That's funny. So was his name Mark? Um. Oh my gosh, I don't remember his name, but I don't think his name was Mark. I have it written down. <laughs> so also, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a counselor. I'm a career counselor. So I help students. Um, I'm the, um, I coordinate, you know, all the services, the career center, and I'm the career counselor for all the students at Mission College. So helping them to decide on a major and creating workshops on job ready skills, like interview skills, um, uh, networking and LinkedIn interview skills um, and helping them to find jobs and employment and um, but mostly academically um, creating student education plans for them. So yeah, Aida, I totally think we can work mm -hmm. together um, mm -hmm. together with our CTE program at Mission mm -hmm. College and see how we can collaborate. <laughs> yeah, we're actually about to meet with um, the community college uh, yeah, system at the statewide level connecting some of our workforce programs. So yeah, the work is just beginning. So <laughs> yeah, workforce, workforce, workforce development is very huge in the community colleges, as you know. <laughs> so wait, yeah. I was working in the community college at the state level. Is that in Wisconsin or California? In California. Oh, both of you are? Okay. 
Yeah, every uh, Amber, everyone on this page except Andrea, I, they're all in California. Andrea's ah. in Wisconsin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I couldn't. I and then Monica, my her. cousin. Yeah. And then my cousin Monica. Go ahead. She's an amazing. Go ahead, cousin photographer. That's it. Monica. I'm a photographer. <laughs> hey, what do you do? Uh, specialize in families and newborn pregnancy engagement. And yeah, that's it. She, ta she takes amazing pictures of families and she takes these amazing pictures of babies this little, like wrapped up, like all like cutesy. It's, it's amazing. Monica Martin photography. Very amazing. She's also a part-time therapist to anybody who, get, who gets yeah, the lucky of catching her. on a corner. She's <laughs> what was that, Aida? I said, you're also a part-time therapist when you get a chance to, to get us in, a, in the corner of the room and chat. Oh. <laughs> okay so that's everybody oh by the way i want to say something wait i want to say something so you know amber i moved to milwaukee wait a minute uh five years ago and i when i when i came here i was like okay i need to uh i need to connect with amazing latina women that are that are like-minded like me you know just like involved with the community and I like to support other women in business so, so people are like, you need to meet Andrea. So I'm very grateful to meet her because I randomly just reached out to her and then she invited me to some event at her house. And we thank God we hit it off right away. And so Andrea has been one of my very first friends when I first came here. And she's, ama she's an amazing person in Milwaukee. Thank you, Patty. Very involved, very involved in Milwaukee. Patty is amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our Latinas Connect page is, is so awesome. Thank you, girl. Yeah, you guys are always uplifting um, small business and Latina small business, own small business. I think that's so wonderful. And a, a little background about me is this, you know, my background really was um, I did a nonprofit leadership program well, through UWM and I really enjoy serving the community. So I'm a nurse practitioner and I loved working. I worked with very high risk, um, really just vulnerable population for a long time and so now I teach um because I really hope that I can share with my fellow you know these younger nurses coming up the importance of you know social justice all of that thing but my husband a few years ago made a career change to a photographer and I was like his business assistant running things and he did not like that all the time so when this came about I'm like you know what? I want to have my own business now because I have my own ideas and I think it's such a great community um to be a part of with the Latina Connect and being able to uplift each other. And I can't wait to see, Fatih, I saw some of your work with the outfits. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're so amazing. That yeah, work thanks. you did with, um, with, with Kohler? I don't know. Hey. Huh? With Kohler? I just did one with Kohler. No, oh. it wasn't. Well, I want to see that one. I don't know which one it was, but I was like, oh, that is so awesome, you know? And it's definitely a niche we need here in little old Milwaukee, small Milwaukee. <laughs> <laughs> Amber, did you do the, the program with Dr. Figueroa? Yep, yep. I was in the first class. The what? First one. Yes. Oh my yes, goodness. it was. That was in 2004? 2004. Wow. With Alberto before he was there. Yeah. And yes, yes, it was great. I loved it. And I wanted to open my own nonprofit one day, but then a hand kid me how oh, that goes. <laughs> That's awesome. But Amber, you teach at the college level, you said, Amber? Yeah, teach I teach nursing students. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh. So I teach labor and delivery and um, OB women's health. That's my heart. I love OB women's health. So. Is that at Carroll? Oh. I teach at Waukesha County Technical College. That's why when you said okay. the community college, I teach in Waukesha there. So. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. So my friend Leandra just joined. Leandra. Hi, Leandra. <laughs> Hi. Hi can you guys see me? I don't even know what's going on with my battery so low. You no, I can't see you, but I can hear you. Wait, let me see. There's oh Leandra. my god. There, there you are. are. <laughs> Leandra, Leandra's also in Los Angeles. Leandra, you can actually replay this whole thing, girl. Like later she's gonna send the link and we could you can rewatch the whole thing. I was cooking. I was just cooking something different. <laughs> so I got a little sidetrack. Leandra, <laughs> look what I just made. Look at you did good, girl. Let me see what I'm on. Oh, snap. That looks <laughs> it awesome. It's so good. Yeah. It's really good, actually. 
It's yummy, really, yum. really, you guys haven't eaten, so you haven't started eating, cousin. No, I know. I'm going to, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to start cutting it right I'm now. I'm already eating. It's so good. Oh, it I'm telling you, it's so good. The dill isn't too much, right guys? It's not too much. You know what? So, I didn't put dill in it, but it's still really okay. good. Okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, and that's the thing. You can modify um, yeah. certain parts of it. Oh, yummy. Dill is so, delicious. Somebody was asking yeah. about steak and do you like grill marks on your steak or not? Do I like what? Um, no, not necessarily. Okay. No. Well, I mean, I do. So I was just going to show you this one of my favorite. I don't know if you can see, but yeah. the grill marks really show up on here. I love, 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 love this. So does so, the grill mark, does the grill marks make it taste better or is that just for looks? I think <laughs> it has like that charred like taste a little bit, you know, I don't know how to explain it. It just feels like it's grilled to me yeah like you know i love charcoal grill i don't think in la can you guys use charcoal how's that over there i don't know <laughs> charcoal yeah you have a barbecue we have a barbecue we use charcoal uh, okay i know some places you're you're i don't know whatever but i love charcoal and so you know in winter in wisconsin months i use this a lot because we can't go outside and grill but you wanted to see the cast iron so the largest size i believe is the 12 inch here Yep, 12 inch cast iron uh, skillets, perfect for stewing steaks, one pot meals. My husband likes to make cornbread in his. You can make baked treats, you can do cookies, you can do frittatas, you can do chicken, arroz con pollo, all of that. <clears throat> they all come pre seasoned with non GMO. They're heat safe to 650 and they're made in the USA and hand wash only. So, my husband, I love him, he does a lot of dishes. Pero. You see mine is rusted. We can fix this and it's very easy. And you can put a video on how to care for cast iron. It has two handles here. You can put it in the oven or use it on the stove top. It has a little lip here to like pour. So that's nice. And I, let me show you my favorite ones though. Cast iron. Aren't these so cute? You can oh, make yeah. some more. Mm -hmm little s'mores little cookie ones and you can put these in the air fryer too or on the grill i love these what do you use that for like what do you cook on there amber oh uh, on this one i'll do like a skillet cookie on the little ones um but you can use this for anything i mean chicken meats vegetables if you want to saute them up you know i feel like for this um cast iron i use more oil with that so that's just the only it just depends on if you want to fry it up though you can do bacon and here as well is another thing. This is my well loved eight inch Nansic skillet. The handle comes off. Hold on, let me see. I never take it off though, but you can take it off. Oh, here it goes. Okay, by the, by the way, this chicken bake is so good. <laughs> It's dishwasher safe, and you can put it in the oven if you take the handle off. Oh, wow. I, I don't do that, but you can. A lot of people like that feature. See, I, I need a little a good one because mine is done. The one I have is done. It's like I need to throw it away. Yeah. Are, you know, people really love I had this one lady. She had three sets in her house because she's like, I never want them to go out. And I was like, okay. Um, dishwasher <laughs> safe. <laughs> All right. Stick. Um, top of the line, titanium reinforced, four layer coating, heat safe to 480, comes with tempered glass lid, and you can use metal utensils if you want. PFOA free. Because you know some people with the Teflon, these don't have Teflon. Okay. What about um, food processors? Do you guys have food processors? Yes. Let me grab that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, they can. So we have oh my God, processor. Amber, Amber, this is so good, girl. This Isn't is so good. good. Girl? I told you. It's so good. So Aida, you got to make it, girl. Aida, you got to make it. It's really good. Really, really good. 
So this is our manual food processor. It has um, three main pieces, which is the blade, the top, which you don't submerge this, you just wipe it down, and then the base. It also comes with a cover, and it just snaps on. I could put an onion in here. Oh, here, I'll put an onion in here. So you oh, wow. Can see. So, this is my chef, uh, chef, or I'm sorry, um, I, it's my coated knife. This is the utility knife. Okay, so I'm going to start with two onions in here. Put the top on, and my son loves to do this with me. <laughs> so oh, wait, fun. there's no cord? No, we don't have a corded one. Oh. Which I, I don't know. You know, I think some places do, you you know, like if you had um, KitchenAid or something like that. But we don't have one that's corded. Okay. So. so our the electric products that we have, we do have an ice cream maker, which I love. Especially if you're doing keto, say no more. Uh, we wow. have the deluxe cooking blender. We have cool. the quick cooker. It's like an instant pot. Somebody said cheesecake. I made cheesecake in there and a pot roast at the same time. And it was so good. <laughs> um, and cakes we can make in there. So this is our manual food processor. Um, oh, okay, nice. Can you show us the other one that you're talking about where you make the cakes and yes, yes. other stuff? Sandra, did you try the, the baking already? Did you try it, girl? See the pictures I sent you? <laughs> no, because I I can't see my phone. I don't. So did you try I, it? Yeah, I saw your pictures. Yeah. One did your husband? Yeah. Did your husband try it? No, he's not here. They're oh. out recording. Oh, Hagab tried it. He liked it. Of course, they're out recording. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I love it. All right, so this is the quick cooker. Um, so it's a, if you guys have heard of like the Instant Pot, it's similar to that. However, ours has a lot more functions. Um, you can sear, so if I make a pot roast, I'll sear it first in here, and then I can cook everything all in one spot. You can steam, slow cook. You can do, it has all the different meats, chicken, beef, pork, fish, seafood, soup, dessert. So... Here's the cover, and then it comes with a stainless steel pot inside. Let me show you. So you can buy the different, um, if you wanted to make cheesecake, it comes with a cheesecake insert. And then also there's a bunk cake insert, which is, there's, there's a flan recipe, I have not made it yet, but I want to. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> Oh, wow. That in there. Oh, my the last, God. Yeah, the last thing I made in here was pot roast and mashed potatoes. So I put the raw, pot roast in here and the potatoes went in here, and I cooked it all at one time, and it was so easy. So that's the quick cooker. Oh. Yeah. Oh, who has a junior chef in their house? Sandy does. Sandy, they have a really cute kid set, which I still use for myself too. <laughs> but it comes with this pretty teal bowl. It has measuring cup set. It's so, so cute. And it's ergonomic for the kids. It's designed for kids. So something to think about. Okay, will you do a cooking class but with her? Of course. Yeah, I have. I can send you the info. Okay, yeah, I'll order it that. It comes with an emoji. Cookie ones? Yeah, he's cool. You can put them on the cookies. Oh, yeah. We can put on the cookies we bake for Santa Claus. Yep. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, yes, we love to bake. My kids love that. Yeah. Hi, Bella. Hi, bacon the thermal mix with Mama. Yeah. Oh, mm. Look at this cake. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's so cute. Mm. Okay, Yes, that's so great. You can help your mommy in the kitchen. How fun. All right. I love my stainless steel mixing bowls. Aren't these nice? They have a nice silicone bottom. 
and they have measurements inside. I don't know if you can see. And it comes in a set of three and they nest together. Another thing I love are my calendars. And there's a set of three, although I use them, so some of them are in the dishwasher. And then I have a salad spinner, which I use these also for calendars, but it really works to get the um, all the water out of our salad. So that's another. Now, last thing. Oh, there's so many things I can show you guys. But um, this is the walk. It's humongous, you guys. I love it. I use it so much. I will make a lot of, um, like if I'm making a ground beef casserole or something, I can put it all, it'll fit all in here. So it's stainless on the outside and nonstick on the inside. Yummy. Nice. Yes. Oh, you want to see a knife? I'll just show you my knife block. It's acacia wood. Ugh. It is heavy. So this is our acacia wood knife block, and as you can, it comes with a certain set of knives. The steak knives are separate, but it will have everything in there for you. And it also comes with a sharpener. Okay. So if you need a new set of knives, Santuco knife. So, yeah. Okay. So yeah, ladies, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I really appreciate you joining, and it was so fun. I'm glad you enjoyed the that you made it's so good yeah so so amber will you send like a like or send a, me a link or something so of all the things that you were cooking with so that the girls remember yes i'll send a link mm -hmm. with all the tools that i use okay recipe, your shopping link yep i can send you that email mm -hmm. and how long will the link be open um well papi Let's see, today's Friday. Usually I keep it open for a few days, but you know, we'll just communicate. I think we didn't send it. Did we send an end date? I don't think we did yet. No. So today is Friday. I say give them for like till next what? Till Monday, Tuesday? Yeah, that sounds good. And actually, okay. if you order tonight, oh, and I usually say before midnight, but it's already 11. So if you order tomorrow by midnight, I will add a gift to your order. So. Okay. Okay. Any questions, ladies? Did you taste my dish? No. It's so good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my, I'm having my kids taste it. Amber, definitely send us the products that you use. Ones yeah. that we're interested. Yeah. And um, let's talk about doing a, a kid's cooking class because she loves to cook and I definitely want her to learn. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. And it's so important. My son be making all types of stuff. I'm like, okay, baby, go ahead. And it's so fun. Yes, I would love to. Be great. Okay, guys. So, so Amber will send me the link, or you'll also post it on the Facebook page. I'll yeah. send it to you, ladies. And then, if you want to receive it, like the video again, she said you can rewatch it again if, like, you wanted yeah. to watch something or whatever. Um, yes. Amber, thank you so much for your thank time. You. Thank you. Thank you, so Amber. Fun. I have thank to say, you. I mean, thank I have to say. I have to say, I really love Pampered Chef stuff. I've had a, the stuff that I have, I've had for 15 years, I think. It's probably, it's been a long time. Uh, I don't even remember who went to my house for that party. I don't even know. I forgot who went to my house for that. Yeah, um, I did. You did, got, cousin? Yeah, that's where yeah. I got the stuff. Yeah. That oh, was like, so fun. <laughs> that's crazy. Long time ago. I think I did. Yeah. 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 I think I did. Yeah. So, okay, thanks to all of my friends that Thank came you. and to my fam my cousins from LA and Wisconsin. And Amber, we'll connect. Yeah. Start After shopping. Start, yes. start shopping, girl. Load your cart up and then we'll go through and see what, <laughs> what, if you have questions. Okay. So okay, do girl, we just so order? This... Wait, do we just mm -hmm. order online or, or how do we do it? Yeah, so Patti has a link for her party. And so you'll order through that link and then she would get, you know, the hostess rewards. So um, how that works is depending on there's different levels. And so definitely that's open to any of you. If you were to book off of her party, both of you would get a benefit from that. And I can put all of that in the email. Mm -hmm. So it should say Patti's party. So just make sure it says that. And if you have any questions, let me know. But the link is right there. It takes you right to it. Okay. It's that, it's that link that I texted you girls, but I'm going to send it again. And then you just click on the link and start shopping away, Claudia. Show her up. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. I will. Yeah. I'm gonna stuff. I'm gonna yeah. Okay, you. girls. Thank you so thank much. You. Okay, so thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Bye. Have a good weekend. Oh, you too. So, oh my gosh, she is so cute. I love it. <laughs> She's fabulous. Bye, Melina. Melina, mm. you don't. Bye. Alina. That is the best shirt. Wait, let me see your shirt. Look at that. Mommy looks like me. That I don't is like yeah. it. Come along. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. That Daddy, is awesome. Where did you get that, Sandy? Her brother gave that to her for her birthday. Oh my oh, god. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> that is too cute. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, girls. Good night. Thank okay. you so much. Good Thank night. you, cousin. Yeah, thanks. Bye, Bye you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.